Good evening. The government stated today that the economy is in an upswing as all 9,000 of the government-owned Walmart stores showed a profit this quarter. The symbolic figurehead, CEO of Walmart, stated that profits are up because there is simply no one else out there. You will remember that Walmart bought the federal government two years ago for what Walmart then said was a pittance. Although sales are high, the markets are still in a fall. Meanwhile, street drug sales are at a high. There are no official wire reports that support this fact, but I have the nose of a reporter, and this nose knows. In other drug news, the makers of OxyCramp today announced that they will be dropping headaches off of the list of possible side effects from the use of their product. Spokesperson Iva Biggin said that repeated studies have shown that headaches are commonly caused from the stress from activities such as working extra hours to afford American prescription drug prices. Since our product just knocks you off your ass, there's really no way it can give you a headache. Possible side effects still on the list include rash, rash behaviors, behavioral anxiety, itching, swollen lymph nodes, nodes with a high trash cost, dizziness, dizzy blondes, early menstruation in women, menstruation in men in general, arms randomly falling off, and cramps that the product was made to stop. Ex-Fort Worth Mayor Colin Alcars was found guilty today of voter fraud in the 2004 mayoral election. If you remember, both myself and entertainment reporter Lewis Cannon ran for that office, only to lose to Mr. Alcars. All this news anchor has to say on the matter is, I am very sorry, Mr. Alcars. It's a pity that you're in jail. Please get out soon and make sure that you become a functioning member of society. Thank you.